Oh, dude, that's just a cluster of like mycelium and ra rock and dirt. It's not even mushroom at the bottom. I could literally do this for the rest of my life. Just hang out on the woods, sitting on the ground, looking at mushrooms with my homies. Don't get much better than that. If you could figure out how to look at mushrooms with the rest for the rest of your life with your homies, you won. I grew up in the cities and my parents didn't really have a connection with much of a connection with nature. I only knew the forest and I only knew trees from the side of the car while we were driving and it was usually just a blur. Definitely walking on mycelium right now. There's mycelium all around us, breaking down the dead leaves on the ground, the dying uh, plant material. Mycelium's the body and mushrooms are the fruit. Mushrooms first came on my radar in high school, I think, because a lot of kids were trying them. It was a thing that was just going around. I started really exploring it. I was like, this is, there, this is where there's potential for me here in rural Pennsylvania, where everything else is illegal that I'm interested in. I can do something that is okay and acceptable and something that nobody else is doing. There was nobody in like a 60 mile radius growing any mushrooms. There was nobody that I could go learn from to go about growing mushrooms. It's like nobody can teach me about mushrooms, but if I started doing this, somebody will pay me to learn about mushrooms. I dropped out of high school. So that was like probably one of the craziest things for my mom because she's like coming from such an academic background and wanted me to go to college and all this kind of stuff. Um, but I ensured her that I didn't want to stop learning. In the forest, this uh, branch falls on the ground. Um, the first thing that's gonna uh, get at that is usually a fungus. We've been educating people for, for seven, eight years now, thousands and thousands of people with our standards of how we grow mushrooms, how we make an extract. So uh, we're working on figuring out how to develop this certification um, because our name stands strong in the mycological community. Here in the US, a lot of people put an emphasis on indoor cultivation. Uh, which as I mentioned requires a lot of electricity. Here outside in the forest, we're surrounded by fresh air, lots of oxygen, there's wind blowing all of the time, we don't need a fan. We never have to worry about fresh air exchange here. And every time it rains, we get an abundance of mushrooms. Um, we're gonna head to our lab in Lemoyne from here now. I wanna name something. Let's make it a goal to find something we get the name. A mushroom. Mushroom, okay. plant, bug. We'll find something. Something undescribed. In our journeys. Back in 2015, after I launched that first uh, festival, um, one of my friends found a cordyceps mushroom during the event and he gave it to me. I was able to clone it um, in my side bedroom here in this house. I started looking all over the internet on how to grow it and there was almost no information in English on how to grow this mushroom. And everybody's like, oh, you can't grow it. All oh, the information's proprietary and only people in, in Asia know how to grow it. So I found most of my insight from watching Thai YouTube videos and just following what they were doing. Um, and from that, I was able to develop techniques and write about them um, and publish my first book in 2017 on how to cultivate cordyceps mushrooms, which was the first English literature in the world on how to cultivate these mushrooms that was publicly available. Need a little yoga, transcend this toxic culture. 
Hey. Yeah, I got another one for you. Oof. I made this show. I, I made this one when I was like 24 or 25. She's so sweet. She a peach on a beach with Margarita Salomon on my feet. I be running through the forest, no bull, but I'm a tourist. If I think they're not recording, he's in the I can find our, our uh, sound guy, but he's going to be your, co your point person for getting everything coordinated with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so once you get the sound guy, yeah. uh, you can bring out like, the back line and stuff. Anybody got a, a eye on Chad? Yeah, of course, Ben needs a drum kit. They, it was in something that they sent us that I didn't see. So they need a drum kit. A drum kit? Like, like a, a whole, whole drum, drum kit, set. yeah. Um, so I incorporated mycosymbiotics in 2015 and started the Mycosymbiotics Mushroom and Arts Festival. My son was, come, uh, was about to be one years old that year. I recognized if I did something and I called it an annual event and I was able to keep it up for a while, then maybe one day I could give it to him. This uh, hike takes about an hour and a half. Um, and with this many eyes, I would be surprised if we didn't find something that hasn't been described to science yet. About to get it. Let's grow! I got into mushrooms. I, I thought that I had to go travel far and wide. I thought I had to go to Asia to find the reishi and the cordyceps. I thought I had to go to Mexico to find the magic mushrooms. And as I started walking around in the forest around me, I realized I had every single one of the mushrooms that I was interested in right here in the woods around me. All right, so yeah, we have some Ophio cordyceps here. Does somebody have a, a, a basket I can put some of this stuff in that I have already? Yeah, sometimes these little things are like the craziest medicinal things that you can find. Um, let's not get too spread out because I want to keep us towards the loop to the lake. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I won't remember anything until Monday. I still have, am processing things that have happened over the past couple days. So many interactions have happened that, um, and, and so quickly that I'm not able to actually like, like get happy or sad at all like, and have that full emotion. So uh, Leo loves it. He told me, actually yesterday night, he told me, thank you for making this. And uh, he starts to ask me questions like, why did you start your business? Or why are you doing this? Or why do you want to grow mushrooms? Or all these kinds of things. And I did it all because of him, so I tell him that's why, and he's and he understands it, and that's the best. Hey, look, I is the one and only Rasta man Naya, and we specialize in these works because it's a big work we have to do. You know, we got to heal up the heavens and the earth, the heavens and the earth in disorder, and this is how we come in. This is what they sent I and I to do in this generation: bring forward these tools and these jewels instruments that help us navigate the multiverse, keep us oriented so we don't get lost in the sauce of illusion and distortion. He get the crown, he is the Mushroom King. He is the Mushroom King in this generation. He wear the crown. Anybody objects, I got any objections? Everybody right here, y'all are in the dream I had. Y'all yeah. are able to experience something that I wish was here. Whenever I was younger, 
I had to travel so far. I had to deal with so many people telling me I was crazy. I had to deal with so many people kicking me out of places. And now we all get to experience this together. This gives me hope for my children. How many are we gonna teach? 10,000. Let's grow. That's my dad, if anybody didn't know. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome to try to raise some uh, a child and then turn around and have them teach you. Yeah. I can't even talk right now. I can't talk about mushrooms though. That's one thing I can always talk about no matter what. Yeah. So this one I'm excited for. Anybody know what this is? Anybody seen this one yet? Hey, we got that one. Who got that one? Me and, me and Julio. This one is my favorite, one of my favorites of the season. They're about to be very, very abundant. This is our local cauliflower mushroom, Sparacis crispa. Very, 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 or Sparacis spatulata. Very, very, very choice edible. A lot of people have recognized the value in what we're creating. I mean, we've re-identified wealth with healthy ecosystems and healthy communities. Not only just by saying that, but I've been traveling around the U.S., connecting with people, educating people, and really spending time with these individuals and building a network of social equity. How you feeling? Hey, I'm wonderful. I'm alive. Here. Yeah. Three breaths. You're feeling good. I love that energy. Standing in a box. You, what are you doing in a box? Just make you're, sure my feet don't get wet. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're you're <laughs> way outside the box, this man. Way outside <laughs> the box. But, but he's in my movie. All right. Fantastic. Are you ready? Thank you. Let's get it. Let's get Louis a medium in our in the micro. Yeah. No, this is a large. In okay. Okay. We didn't have any in this. Country. What happened to those? Uh, we're selling out. We're selling out. Yeah. There's oh wow. And this well, that's good thing, news. Louis? We might find other people foraging here, but this is. But like, the only people that forage this spot during the festival are people that aren't told that this spot where this spot was. This will be fine. Dude, look at these purple mushrooms. Super pretty. You see them everywhere? Damn. Oh, dude, there's mushrooms everywhere. 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 Everywhere you step. Dude, look at these coral mushrooms. Dude, they're fat. These are coral mushrooms. Some people eat some of these. This is the San Juan Mountain Chanerelle. Boletus rubriceps. The gem of the moment.
I, don't, I can't say I've seen myself as like king of anything or this or that, but like whether or not humans want to believe it, we are experiencing consciousness together. We're all connected. And the mycelium is connected in that way where each of the individual tips to me is representative of a human having a unique experience that's capable of bringing that experience back into the network. I didn't believe that magic existed in the world anymore and in following mushrooms connected me to nature and in learning about the natural aspects of myself and the natural aspects of this world and the natural patterns helped me to realize that magic never went anywhere. They're pulled up in the cape with my brothers. We touching the Matsu Take. Pines be popping. Picking porcini in the Colorado Rockies. We're eating noble, still in the same hood, so we keep it.